Give me the next one. I hope this is the call. Come on up. Come on. Anonymous, you're on the line. State your name where you're calling. Okay, yeah. What's up? What's up? It's once again. Oh, wait. Give, give, give him a hand clap. I didn't think he was going to show up. Hey, brother, man, I, I do this, man. There's no reason why I wouldn't. I don't even know you, nigga, to know what you do. So now, what we. Oh, no, gonna... that's, that's fine. Okay, no sweat. No problem. So I believe you said. Hold on, hold on, let me say. See, just you ain't right got to say no. Hold on, no, no, I'm setting the stage. You know, you know, you're taking it. Hey, 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 relax, dude, relax, relax. You ain't mute him, did you? No, unmute him. Let him, let him talk like a maniac, like a woman. Unmute him. I did. Oh, brother, what I want you to do is relax. I'm just setting the stage for the conversation. Calm down. I'm, you might. Did you grow up with a father, brother? Talk. Did you grow up with a father, yes or no? Talk. That, I'm going to take that as a no, so I understand why you act. No, so take that. Did, did you grow up with a father? My father was in and out of my life, more in than out. See how I answer the question? Because I'm not effeminate. Okay. No, so, so answer you the answer question. Did you, answer. Up, did you grow up without a father? Since you answered, I will answer. Yes, of course. I grew up with two fathers. I had a stepfather and a biological father. Okay, so then you should be. Then you should know the tact of discipline. You should have a better gift at it than me, if that's the case. So now, this brother once again commented. He been commenting all on my YouTube channels on every, everything he could find to comment on my YouTube channel, and he made a comment saying these was two emotional men. I believe is the initial comment that he said. And so I invited him to come onto the show to show me how we were emotional. Now, brother, you could tell me how, or, well, being that Tommy is not here and only I'm here, you can tell me how I was emotional because that's what you said. The floor is yours. Okay. H hold on one sec. I'm trying to find those comments. So mm. I go point by point. Well, on that on that particular one, um, I think you said. Um, hold on, let me see, because I'm trying to find it myself. Oh, you, you, let me let me say this too. Let me if if, if I'm if I'm able. The yeah. reason that I was commenting and looking at your other videos, and, and it's not because you know I saw you played the sound effects, not because I didn't have nothing better to do. I'm not a sorry nigger and this that and the third. I was looking just to see what your other stances was. Because, you know, I, I, obviously I've heard of you through Sonetta. Cool. Now you got your own, you know, your own platform. I always cool. had my own. So I just wanted to see, huh? I always had my own. Okay, well, I mean, <coughs> hey, brother, you know, I, I just wanted to see what else, you, you know, other content you had. That's all. Gotcha. And, and, and another thing, of course, why wouldn't I leave a comment? You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't no, hurt no, you, no, it, you know? Yeah, that, that's fine. Go ahead. So on the video, the video that you commented was Captain Tazariak versus Tommy Sotomayor, correct and protect right. the black woman. Is she too proud? Your comment was two very overly emotional men. And I said, no. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. That's you said that. So I'm trying to get the order of the. Uh, yeah, I know exactly how it went I said, down, you must, I, right said, I said, you must be a woman. You said, no, but you're behaving like a typical overly emotional one. I said, it's interesting that you say that when you, have, when you have over 20 plus comments on my channel with clear emotional responses. I tell you what, I do my show tonight. You could come onto my show. So there wasn't really a long exchange. I immediately invited you to my show. So the floor is yours to tell me how I was overly emotional. <clears throat> okay, hold on, please. Bear with me one minute. Okay, here we go, right? Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Here we go, right here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> now, the specific reason why I said that I felt you was overly emotional because I left the comment, bong. Then you said, tell that to unprotected black woman, bong. This then I said, I'm not here to is argue. This, is this on a different um, comment, a different page? For what I'm saying? Yeah, like the, what you just said. The comment you left. This is on. Like where? This is on the video. This is on the video. Yeah, with uh, Captain Tazaria uh -huh. versus uh, Tommy Sotomayor, correct and protect woman. It, it, it's it's um it's a comment that I made stand alone. It's once again, and then there's nine okay. comments under that. I got you. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. So now, um, you said in that one. 
you made a comment. Did I reply to that comment? Yes, you did. Yes. What that's did I, that's what this whole I, thing is based on. Okay. What did I say in that one? Okay. Bonk. So I made my initial comment. Uh -huh. Then you said, tell that to unprotected black woman. Bonk. Right. Then I came in, I put a couple of laughing emojis because, you know, even though co contrary to what you believe, I may be hyped and animated, but this is all just a conversation. I mean, you know what I mean? Right. But anyway, I said, I'm not here to argue. We are all unprotected in one way or another. If the police kick in your door right now, blah, 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 you wouldn't be protected. Right. Then you came back with, um, you started off saying it was saying silly. it was silly. Right. Shows you didn't listen to the conversation properly. Then you use an extreme example if police kicking the right. door in LOL. Correct. You don't want to have a real conversation. You haven't even responded to points being made in the video. Right. Have a good day. Now, brother, <laughs> right then and there is where I felt you were being overly emotional, okay? We all have emotions. We're all human beings. I felt you were being too overly emotional because, and then, and then I, I, all I, I said was, was start, I, all I said was tell that to unprotected black women. That's just a statement. Ain't no emotional. Then no, brother. Then brother you came brother, with the laughing okay. emojis and said, I'm not here to argue. And then all I said was, you started off saying it was silly, which is your first comment. Your first comment was, this is such a silly and pointless conversation. That was your first comment. You said it was a silly conversation. I mean, and, we, and I don't want to take away from it being entitled to, but that's what prompted me to just say, tell that to unprotected black women, because the women that I know that are black women that I know that are unprotected don't think it's a silly and pointless conversation. They actually want the conversation to be had about when are black men going to protect black women. So I'm still waiting for you to just show me what was overly emotional. Or, and since you brought up that comment, what was silly and pointless about the conversation? If we can get to that. So now we've gotten the comments out the way. So just tell no, me. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, wait, wait, one, one second. We don't have to go. go, ahead, I, don't go wanna, I, I have a guest on the show. I don't want to go back and forth about comments. I want to get straight. But, but I'm going to, I'm about to land a plane as they say. Ain't I gotta land it right now. Ain't gotta land I need brother, the comments to land a plane. Oh, you need, okay. okay. I'll give you one more comment to land your plane. Go ahead, brother. Okay. Now check it out. This is why I said it was a silly, you know, this is why I said, this is how this whole thing started. Because you said that I don't want to have a real conversation. And I, and this is the key part. You haven't even responded to the points being made in the video. Mm -hmm. Then I left the comment. Then even another brother, okay, this bro, who, or whatever the person is, I, you know, he said, bro, read the point you addressed, then said you wouldn't address the point. And that's the problem because in my initial comment, the only thing you took out of it was I said the 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 conversation is you know he's saying that again right too, right? Under that, I outlined three different specific point specifically mm -hmm. addressing point by point what you and tommy were discussing and you totally ignored that no i did that's why that. i felt you I, were being overly emotional you. that's not overly emotional that's looking okay, at the okay, point okay. Just, that's not overly emotional that's looking at you said men typically protect the women in their family that's not true today of black men not predominantly men can barely protect themselves from okay oh okay go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Men can barely protect themselves from other men, such as the police. Having what Tommy is describing is called vigilante justice and, of course, can have unwanted consequences. Mm -hmm. What we discussed in this particular video about protecting them was not pointing out how, not just pointing out how they're unprotected, but how they can be protected. So I'm still trying to show, like, bringing up three points is not addressing what we said. You got to tell me what we said in this dialogue that was silly and pointless. We're still this is why I said we can get we can move past comments. Just tell me what in this video was silly, pointless, and we can just start from there. That's all I'm asking. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I do this, brother. First of all, you asked me what did I say was feminine or overly emotional. 
That's why I had to have the comment. Okay, okay but fine. we passed that. Done with that we, point. We're right here. Now at, we're done with right that here point. At, the next point you said you? is why did I say the conversation is silly and pointless? Do you want me to address that now? I just said to tell me. I just okay. said that. Okay, so the reason I said that, the and I'll tell you point by point the way I recollect it, the reason I said it was silly and pointless, because you just said you and Tommy were discussing ways on how to protect black women. One of the things that Tommy said was um, that um, <clears throat> black women should be in a club of who's protected and who's not protected and um, something to the effect of uh, if women are submitting to their men and things of that nature. Isn't that correct? Paraphrasing, summing it up. Did, he said that in the beginning of the video, he said he wanted to have some sort of club or, or something to that effect. Didn't yeah, he place, that? a place where they can be protected. Yes. Right. This is why I said the conversation is silly because this topic is so broad and widespread that even for com you know if Tommy was you just something was silly was about that let me finish okay he, 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 I can't so I can't finish my thoughts you know, I, but I, what I want it's just I true, know, all, I, all I want is you to just be succinct okay. succinct just means clear or focused. What was silly about Tommy? Now, I don't know what succinct means. If you don't let me finish my thought, everybody else called. There's two people already called. And, you know, I again, this is your show. Brother, you I talk, I show. talk You're trying to direct to me and tell me what to say. As a matter of fact, you, when you go back and listen to this tape, the last person okay. that we was talking back and forth, and I even said listening is an art to him. I, I know am, because you not, I don't, me. you the only you one right, being a cry. Right. So you the only one listen? being a cry, baby. Listen, I, you don't am gotta listen, right? I am. Got you. Okay. I am okay. listening. I'm asking you a specific question. What was silly about him saying that they should be in a club and that they should be submissive? I'm being very direct with the question. You, the example you. Okay. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. I know. That's why I said listening is an art. <laughs> So that's the question. What was silly about him saying women should be in a club and be submissive? What was silly about that? That's what I'm asking. Okay. No problem. No problem. The reason I say again, and I was getting to that, it's silly because this um, topic is so widespread and so varied. Like, okay, for women to be in a club, so what does that mean? They're going to have a special hand signal or a ring or, you know, what What if a woman is in a mall or in anywhere where women be, a supermarket, anywhere? Like, like, how do you distinguish who's in this club and who isn't? Does she have to wear a letter that says she, she submitted to her man? You see what I'm saying? Like, in a practical sense, that makes no sense. So now that's what I said. It was really. Now, so now what I'm going to say is your answer was silly and stupid. And now I'm going to respond why I say it was silly and stupid. Headshot. You said being in the club, what do they got to have a special handshake or anything like that? If you actually listen to the conversation, I echo Tommy's sentiments and I use my school as an example in my school. Brothers and sisters come into this building for a correction and protection. I'm only going to focus on women. Them women come in here. They have problems. It could be their mouth. That's they're not being protected. So in this school, I'm going to use instead of school, I'm going to say club just to echo what Tommy was saying. So in this club of UPK, we teach them how to watch their mouth, how to conduct themselves in this club in UPK. We teach them how to dress how to carry themselves, how to not look promiscuous, how to not act promiscuous. We treat the, excuse me, we teach them how to be submissive to their man because the earth, as you said, is so broad. The earth teaches the black woman to disrespect her man, to disrespect her sons, to disrespect the father of her children. That's what the earth teaches her. So now in this club, we teach her how to properly be a woman. And as they correct themselves, when they're out in the mall, they're not loud mouth as the example that you say. So our women that are in this club are not in the dangers that other women are in because they're not putting themselves in that danger. 
But now this directly, so you have to tell me what's wrong. Now I'm going to go. Now, mine's is a school. Again, I'm only using the word club because that's what Tommy said, and that's what you're. I, I, I got you. I got you. How I'm is, ready for my rebuttal. So yeah. How is, yeah. again, you got to tell me, how is correcting the black woman silly? Okay, check this out. First of all, I think what you said is very ignorant, ignorant meaning lack of knowledge. Okay, you were so quick to call my thing and you got this sound effects, ignorant, whatever. Check this out. That's one thing I noticed, and that's why I was very hesitant to call in, because I see you're dealing with a re through a religious perspective. I can't knock it. I can't, argue, I can't discuss it. Everything you guys are discussing prior, I'm listening. That's not my, my area. So, you know, but you, you just, but when you and Tommy were talking, you were talking about black women in general. You didn't say specifically, even, okay, Tommy said a club, you, you know, and maybe you mentioned your school. Now, you know, I, I've seen you before, even like, you know, talk like African kids, you wasn't, you know, they're not part of this or, you know, whatever. So if, if you're saying the only people that you want to protect, the only women that you want to protect are women that come to your school or through, you know, your religious organization or whatever, then then that's then that's what it is. I'm looking at the whole topic of black women, black women who don't believe in what you believe, Muslim, Jewish, atheist, whatever. <laughs> black women in general if you're only talking about black women that believe in your ideologies then then that's it <laughs> just on I'm, I'm, are you done brother i don't even know if you heard what i said man i heard every, it don't I, matter, really. I, well stop stop i heard every single thing that you said and i was okay and I was quiet. So you done brought up I wouldn't feed the African. That ain't got nothing to do with this subject. That's what I mean about emotional. It does. You don't want Why did you interrupt me? I didn't interrupt. I didn't now you just said earlier. You just said earlier you don't want to be interrupted. You just you just said earlier you didn't want to be interrupted. So I didn't I didn't interrupt you in your response. Just now I did not interrupt you. And then when I go to respond. I referenced the African shit because you brought it up and you interrupt me again. Because you don't understand the context. I, you don't even know what up, I'm going to say because you didn't take obviously. the time. You didn't take the time okay. to listen because you did. Okay, I did. Answer. I heard you. you if, if, you you listen, you if you listen, you if you listen, right. to, if you listen right. to what I said, oh, then God. you would have heard my question. Even that, oh, God, your mama raised you to say, oh, God, you talking to a man, not a woman. Pitch. My woman talked to me like that. When they say "oh God" and all that shit, you were raised by a woman. You don't know who the hell I was raised by. This is a man you talking to. You're talking to who I was raised by. Just act like a man. Stop responding. You act like a man. You know I am. That's why. Listen. That's why I sat. That's why I sat. You were listening to you. That's why I'm listening. Here's how I know. Go ahead. All right. I know. You can't do no life lessons on being a man. You out of your mind. Look at you. You out of your mind. Look at you. You didn't even answer my question. What was my question before I gave you the floor? What was my question? Don't do the sound effects. What was my question before I gave you the floor? What was silly about Tommy mentioning a camp? That was not that question. That was not okay. my question. Oh, my oh, 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 question oh, oh, was, what, what my does question the was, have to do? My, no, that was not. My question okay. was, after I spoke, my question was, what is silly about correcting the black woman and teaching her to... Okay, I was close. Wait, stop. Stop talking. This is what I mean. <laughs> See how you interrupt, and this is what women do. You it's clearly no did. You, you, you are a woman. I was right. People talk, man. Knock it off. Listen, man. stop interrupting. If the reason and the reason why I'm telling you, oh, men don't interrupt. Here's so why. But here's why I'm telling you. On the basketball court, here's why I'm telling you. But here's why I'm telling you. Here's why I'm telling you. All right, okay. You want to low? All right, okay. That's what my mom used to say. My mom used to talk like that. Women talk like that. I know. The reason, the only reason I'm telling you. The, listen, uh, we'll, just listen. You're going you're gonna to keep talking? The only reason I'm telling you to not talk while I'm talking is because some people have the gift of talking at the same time the other person is talking and then they can hear what they're saying. 
But you clearly didn't even know the question that I asked, because when I asked you what that question was, not only did you not answer it, you didn't even know what it was. So maybe you should stop talking while I'm talking so you can hear what I said, because you did not ask my answer to my question. You didn't even know what it was. So I'm going to repeat my question and respond. I asked you what was silly about correcting the black woman and teaching her to be submissive. You went on this whole diatribe saying, because I'm religious, your words, if you're not religious, you don't fit in here. When if you actually listen to the conversation me and Tommy had in my response, I said, my door is open to everyone. Everyone, every black woman can come into this room. But you're going to get rules when you come into this room. <laughs> not explain why you're going to get rules because the black one, pull that video. Hey, brother, stay, brother. Just, I'm going to just, I'm, I'm not talking about you right now. Pull that video up. I told you I wanted to play. Pull this video up. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm going to show you exactly the type of women that need correction. Pull this video up. Pull this video up. Okay, just want to make sure it's being shared. And then Kadazai has a question for you after I play this video, brother. Play, play this video now you on the phone so i don't know if you're gonna hear this or not but if you watch it live this the woman and you play the video in this video you got black women with the goddamn toy story characters with little kids and the toy story characters is jerking on the little kids Jerking on the little kids. Who the fuck gonna correct them if it ain't the black man? Play this shit. Play this video. Play this. Video. Just turn the volume down a little bit so when I talk, like, oh, you can only mute it. You can't turn it down. I right, didn't mute it. We don't need to hear it. Just play this video so I go talk over it. Look, they got these Toy Story doll characters bent over twerking, and the mothers is sending their little kids over there. And they don't need them women should be in this school. Them women should be in this school with their kids so we could teach them that you're destroying yourself. You ain't just destroying yourself, you're destroying those kids. How is me and Tommy having a, a conversation about correcting the black woman, every black woman, and giving them rules? Silly. You know what silly this shit is right here on this video. 